In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, steps in uh, creation of a chat channel. Now, uh, there are uh, many steps which you need to follow before you uh, do the creation of a chat activity within your Dynamics 365 customer service uh, application for Omni Channel. Now, the first step is uh, you need to fill up the channel details like the channel's name. Okay. Uh, then you need to create a work stream or attach to an existing work stream. Now, what is work stream? Work stream is basically a collection of settings. Just assume that for now. Okay. I'm going to cover that in my upcoming videos. But uh, for now, just assume it's a collection of settings. So you need to have a work stream attached to a channel. Okay. In order to make it work. Then you can set the persistent chat configuration parameters. Specify the work distribution mode. Now, what happens when an input is received? Uh, then uh, whether it's a push-based model or is it pick-based model? So you need to set that. Choose existing queue or attach it to an existing queue because all the channels should route through some sort of a queue for that uh, element to work. Then configure the chat widget, how the chat widget should look like. Configure automated messages, uh, if there are any. Configure pre and post conversation survey configure customer wait time, uh, configure customer location detection, configure user feature. And once all these configurations are done, yeah, there is a post chat creation activity, which you need to follow. You need to get the code snippets post saving uh, of the channel. And then you can either create a simple HTML file or embed code in your existing corporate website. Okay, and then you trigger the chat. And that's how the chat gets, you know, like uh, triggered and configured within your uh, organization. So I'm going to show that you in the live demo. Okay, so uh, let me go to the customer service admin center app. Now over here, if you navigate to say channels, okay. Now under channels, uh, you will see chat. Okay, it says help your customer with chat channel. So let's manage this. Now here I have already created a couple of channels which I'm going to demonstrate that in in this video But uh, let's create a custom channel for now. Okay, let's create a, a chat channel a new chat channel. Okay now uh, Let me call this chat channel give it a name. So I'll call it a chat October uh, 2nd uh, Okay, some some name. Okay uh, chat Language is English US. That's fine. Type is messaging channel is chat. You can't change that because that's under the messaging type and the channel is chat. Okay. Click on next. Work stream. Now, as I mentioned to you, what is work stream? Work stream is basically a collection of settings. Okay. Settings information which will allow that work to be streamlined within your organization. Now, here you can either create a new work stream or add to an existing work stream. Now, I have already have an existing work stream. So, maybe let me make use of that work stream. Okay. So, uh, for time being, just assume that this is related to some sort of a work stream. Okay. I'll click on next. Now here you will uh, be presented with a screen of configuring this chat widget. Now let me keep it very simple. I'm not going to do anything, uh, and uh, I will uh, make this you know like something like orange, or I can put some display name or widget position. But I'm not going to make any change because I'm going to cover this in my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's assume that this is all about configuring your chat widget. You can configure the proactive chat. You can show widget during operation hours. You know. Uh, and you can reconnect to the previous chat all those things you can configure so this is all about the visual interface of the chat widget if i click on next then it will show me a behavior now the behavior pattern is like if you want to show some custom automated message when the chat is triggered okay i can add a message i can put a post pre or post conversation survey details i'm not going to do all those things i'll keep everything as default for now time being okay and here on the next you see user features now what does the user should see whether the user should be able to uh, download the attachment or add an attachment you know uh, uh, whether they can see the conversation transcript or how do they receive the notification uh, whether they can make use of voice and video calls so those all things can be set up uh, i'm going to cover all these things in my upcoming video so i'm not going to cover all these things now uh, the main object of the session is to create a chat channel so i'll just click next now here review and finish uh, i whatever i have added uh, you will see over here and this is what if you agree to it you go ahead and create a channel so this is how you can create a channel within dynamics 365 customer service application and 
once you do that you know you will get some sort of a widget uh, code okay now this is that widget code so you what you need to do is you need to copy this widget code because this is important okay now even if you forget to copy that's fine you know you can again go back to the channel and get those code you know let me click on copy and let me click on done okay so here you will see the channel which we have just created called as chat opt 02 channel okay now if i go into this particular channel and if i click on edit you will be presented with uh, the details like the chat widget behavior user features okay so in chat widget you can again see this code you know and you can take this code and then use it as your uh, uh like to use it to uh, uh, say surface out the chat application now uh, in the interest of time i've already done that ahead of time but i'll show you how to do that in visual studio so in visual studio what you need to do is like you need to create a simple html file okay so if i say uh, html you create an html file okay now in that html file you know how to write html so you just say html and then uh, it's the head tag you put a title tag you know those sort of things uh, you complete it uh, and let me do an html quickly and under the head tag you know what i've done over here uh, under this body i have added a script okay now you can go ahead and create a body and then you can put a script under that okay now what is that script tag basically it is the same thing which i have copied from the, my omni channel application so here if you see the script tag this is nothing but you know like the same thing which i have created over here so html head body script so this is the code you need to write and this is the code you just need to copy paste okay this is the code you just need to copy paste okay so this is a simple html file it's called as chat.html now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to trigger this okay but before i even trigger this i need to make sure that my agent is ready you know now let me show you how the agent will receive this okay so here omni channel for customer service application over here if you see uh, this is the agent uh, interface you know agent will uh, it, this indicates that agent is available uh, and now what i can do is i can trigger this uh, chat you know so let me open this chat and it will open it in a new browser you know uh, and then uh, it will start uh, uh, seeing this chat over here mm -hmm. now here as you see this particular chat uh, uh, this is the chat we have configured mm -hmm. now if i click here on let's chat this will open the live chat support okay now what happens is like the moment you type something over here say hello now this is Girish has been assigned, okay, for this particular, uh, say, chat engagement. Now here, as a Dynamics 365 customer service user, you will see that there is a chat request coming up, okay. Now you need to accept it, okay. Now let me accept this chat request. Now I have accepted this chat request. Now as an agent, I will see that this is visit number one and uh, this visitor number one is uh, trying to uh, uh, say something, you know, using a chat based interface. Now this chat based interface will start reading and I will see the message which has been sent, you know, the user has sent hello and then I will greet them. Uh, good morning user, uh, how can I help you? And then uh, I can, you know, like I can, uh, continue uh, with the conversation over here so uh, so that's how you know like i can uh, see that uh, the two-way chat has been is, uh, created and then this chat has been now progressing way well okay so that's it folks i'm not going to go much in uh, uh, detail about this but uh, 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 this is all about setting up creation of a chat channel and in the upcoming videos i'm going to show you more information about how to configure various widgets how to configure various channels and how to uh, extend the chat functionality uh, uh, with the bare minimum look and feel okay uh, so that's it thanks for watching